uh, mm -hmm. bias in identity systems. I've uh, definitely been sure yes. if this mm -hmm. could take up a whole episode or we could talk about this kind of quickly. You could you could do a whole sub series on 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 that, and it 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 starts with biometrics. Of course, there are certain areas in the world where the population only has very very uh, little distinctive uh, marks in their fingerprints. There is the natural bias that that a Eurasian person will have a hard time telling Asians from each other, same goes the other way. And if you have certain other biometric features, they might not work the same way they do work in your population over in, let's say, Latin America, in Southeast Asia, in Africa. That is definitely a thing. So I've, I, I've kind of always thought when I heard bias and identity systems, is it, Look, it's not intentional, right? It kind of no. comes down to you know, like bias isn't being written into systems intentionally. It's it's probably a factor of the data that's fed in, the number of samples are Absolutely. skewed Absolutely. toward um you know, Western appearance or something like that. Is that what it's Absolutely. coming down to? Absolutely. You know, uh, we, we had that outrage with, with Gen AI when uh, all the pictures that you created uh, that had people in it, they were predominantly Caucasian persons. So, so because the training set they, they, they used were mostly Caucasian people in the photos, in the pictures. So yeah, of course there's bias and the same applies. And, and that diversity, sometimes is a challenge if the engineering team is not diverse, but very, very local.